Good afternoon, Kipsters. Get ready to sing our months of the year. Get ready. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Cha cha cha. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 My turn first, then your turn. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Kipsters, how many days have we been in school? Let's count together. Get ready. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Whoa, Kipsters, we have been growing our brains for 37 days at home. Now, Kipsters, I want to know, if you still know how to count, say, uh-huh, oh, yeah, I can count, I can count, by ones, by ones, to 20, to 20. All right, get ready, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoa. Now, Kipsters, I want to know if you can count backwards from twenty. Get ready. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Kipsters. Now, I heard that good counters can start counting by ones from any number. If you can do that, say, I can do that. I can do that. All right, Kipsters. We are going to start counting from the number. 35, get ready, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Whoa, that was a lot of counting kipsters. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second. So yesterday, kipsters, we learned all about one half of a fraction with Miss Bloom and with our special guest, Miss Essence. So we learned yesterday that one half of a fraction, and I'm going to get my whiteboard ready. Uh oh. We learned that one half of a fraction means that it's, that it's equal. That means that if I had, Kipsters, a pizza pizza. And if I split it in half, that is one half. So, Kipsters, today we are going to learn all about one third of a fraction. Say one third. One third. So, Kipsters, pretend that there is three of you. Like, there's three people in my house. There is me. There's Azadi and there's Essence, and we love to eat pizza. So if I had one pizza, I have to split this pizza. Uh-oh, how is Miss Bloom gonna do this? I have to split, oh, so tricky. I have to split this pizza into three equal parts. This is hard to draw Kipsters, so. Be patient with Miss Blue. Let me see. I have to do, I have to make sure that each pieces 
are the same size. That means that there is one, two, three. So that means that each one of these are the same size. So that means that Azadi, Essence, and me all get the same size pizza. So this is, this, if I shaded this in, this would be considered one third. And the way we write one third is we do one dash three. That looks like one third. Say erase that board. I'm going to show you another example, Kipsters. With a fraction, it means that every piece has to be the same size. So pretend that I have a candy bar. And I'm going to split it into three equal parts. So I have one, two, three. Then I'm going to shade in one. This is one third of a fraction. Should we practice some using your paper and pencil? All right, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to go get your piece of paper and your pencil so we can practice it and I'm gonna share my screen so you can see what we are going to do. So I'm gonna count down 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, Kipsters, if you are back and ready to work with me, say, I'm ready, Miss Bloom. I'm ready, Miss Bloom. All right, so we need to figure out which figure shows one third of the um, picture shaded. That means only one part of the three squares are shaded. Is it the first picture or the second picture? Hmm. I want you to draw the picture on your piece of paper that shows one third. I'm going to give you a few seconds to do that. Hmm. And I'm going to be thinking in my brain while you guys are drawing, which picture shows one third? I'm going to draw the picture on my board. All right, I'm about to show my work. Get ready to see if yours match Miss Bloom's. I chose the first picture because it shows one third of the um, figure shaded. All right, I'm gonna erase my board and we're gonna go to the next slide. Now, Kipsters, you need to show which picture shows one third of the picture shaded. Is it the first figure or the second figure? Go ahead, you draw yours and then I'm gonna draw mine. Uh-oh. Ms. Bloom is getting tricked. Don't get tricked like Ms. Bloom. Okay, get ready to show your work. Count down. Three, two, one. This one shows one third. So the second picture, I picked the second picture that shows one third. Okay. All right, Kipsters. Now look at this fig. Look at this page. Which figure shows one third? Is it the first one or the second one? I want you to draw it, and then I'm gonna show my work. So I'm gonna draw mine.
Okay, Kipsters, I'm about to count down. Three, two, one. Show your work. I picked this figure to show my work. All right, let's see. Oh, that is all that we have for today. So remember, Kipsters, to show your work, send a picture to your um, teachers so that they can see that you have been working at home. See you later.